Investigators are giving more detail about a woman who was found dead in rural Champaign County. She was found in a field northwest of Thomasboro back in 1995. Police didn't know who she was, but they're now sharing what they have learned in hopes of tracking down her identity. WC93's Courtney Bunting is with us live from our newsroom. Courtney, so what were they doing for almost this 25 years? Yeah, Jennifer, I asked them that question, and they told me a lot of this new information came from DNA testing that wasn't available before. Not only that, but the test results took a long time to come back. Investigators say despite the long wait, they have never stopped working on this case. New details may seem vague, but compared to what investigators knew about Jane Doe a year ago, it's progress. You know, our starting point is to figure out who she is, so then we can then once we have a name, then we'll be able to look at what she was doing, um, find out more about who she was. Jane Doe was found in a field northwest of Thomasboro in 1995. At the time, investigators only knew it was a woman in her late teens to late 20s. New test results show that Jane Doe could have been born in Urbana, southeastern Illinois, Nashville, Tennessee, Springfield, Missouri, or a region north of Topeka, Kansas. That information comes from isotopes. Well, isotopes are ingested by humans every day um, through the water they drink, the food they eat, the air they breathe from the areas they're at. I think primarily the most important thing that we've got now is the isotope information, which really narrows down that, that area where we believe that she was living uh, during the last five years of her life, uh, along with where she was likely born. Jane Doe could have been someone's classmate, coworker, or sister. Details taken from her dental records and forensics place her between 16 and 29 years old. Investigators believe she's somewhere between 5'1 and 5'9. They want people from anywhere near those areas to take a look at this picture. Because without a name, they can't take the next step. Until we know who she is, we have no idea who her acquaintances were, who her family members were. So we can't really work on the, the homicide case until we can identify who she is. Now it is possible Jane Doe did not stay in the area where she was born. For more information about where she may have been staying long term and was at five years before her death, go to our website at WCIA.com. Live in the newsroom, Courtney Bunting, WCIA 3, your local news leader. And hopefully people do take a good look at that picture and spread it around. Yeah, so be sure to share it. Can see it. All right, thank you. Now Jane Doe's body was in the field for anywhere from a month to a year before she was found. About 15 years later, investigators ruled her cause of death as as blunt force trauma or a gunshot wound, but they say they never chose an official cause.